This morning, we're in the city of San Rafael. We're midway between San Tropez and Caen, and one of the defining natural features here are the red rocks in the hills of Estorel. Now, there's a lot to see and do here. There's the old fort, the old town, a basilica, casino, shopping, and great beaches. And to show us all that is our guide, Marie. We're going to go meet her now. Bonjour, Marie. Hi, Ralph, and welcome to San Rafael. Thank so, you. Here we are at the old port, uh, very famous for the disembarking of Napoleon Bonaparte after the campaign of Egypt. Okay, that's pretty amazing. So cruise passengers come over here and they're able to walk in the footsteps of Napoleon Bonaparte. That's true, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so now let's go to see more things of San Rafael. Okay, sounds great. So Marie, what's the name of this basilica? So the name is Notre Dame de la Victoire. So uh, it has been built in uh, 1880. I've often wondered what's the difference between a church and a basilica like this one? Well, there is a few differences, but uh, the major one is that the Pope can come in a basilica, not in a church. So Marika and I were walking through the old town and uh, we stopped to do one of the quintessential French experiences and that is to have lunch. And look at this beautiful lunch. It begins with tapenade, they are French baguettes, and of course the ever-present French uh, Provencal Rosé. This is nothing like the Rosé you've had in America. It's not nearly as sweet and people drink this all the time just to cool off and enjoy themselves in these cafes. So, santé. Santé. Bon appétit. Merci. In the old town, we climbed the bell tower of a 12th century church for some spectacular views of the harbor where Napoleon Bonaparte sailed into in 1799. In the distance, we could see not only Saint-Tropez, but also the neighboring twin city, Préjus. It was a picture-perfect day. Sun, sea, the south of France, what's not to love? It's hard not to miss the striking red rocks of the Estoril Hills. I recommend you climb the bell tower. You'll be rewarded with some spectacular views. Well, cruise passengers coming to San Rafael will come ashore in one of two tender landings, one up in the marina and one in the city center behind me. There are 36 kilometers of coastline here. It's absolutely beautiful. We've had a great time here, but now we've got to head over to Frejus and the Roman ruins there. So thank you, Marie. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. Now we're still in France, but we're in the Roman city of Frejus. This was a military colony that dates back to the period of Julius Caesar. We're going to walk inside a cloister. Now the oldest part here dates back to the 5th century. Let's go check it out. These cloisters have the design of a cloister, but not the function. They were built not for monks to worship, but for people to pass from the street to the cathedral. Another unique feature of the cloister is the ceiling. It's built from wood in the Middle Ages and it has animals carved into it, representing good and evil. And they're done not by artists, but by craftsmen. Why? Well, no one knows. The foundation for the baptistry dates back to the 5th century. It's one of the oldest and best preserved in all of France. Candidates for baptism entered in this door. They had to lower themselves, bend over to represent humility. They stopped here to wash their feet, and then they headed for the baptismal pool. This is a total immersion pool, so they had to go into the water and dip all the way down. They would step out, and they would exit not by the same door, but by a different door. Much taller, they didn't have to bend over because now they were Christians. Something else that's also unique in Frejus is that you have a church and a cathedral side by side. 
Now these two were separated by a wall for a long time, but that wall was taken away. And today what you have is the church and the cathedral joined together. I had a great time in San Rafael and I enjoyed seeing Frasier's. If you're cruising in this region, these are must-see destinations. I'm Ralph Grizzle, the Avid Cruiser, and I'll see you later.